TKing with whatever I can make in 10 hours of PVM. This is something that I've had in mind for quite a long time. I've wanted to test the waters with this idea. This video is gonna be in two parts. This part is gonna be me making the money in 10 hours. And the second part is gonna be me PKing with however much I end up making in those 10 hours. I do have a confession. I did fuck up the audio for the first six hours of this video. So <laughs> there isn't gonna be any. It's gonna be me commentating over the top. If you guys wanna witness what it sounds like, Here's a sneak peek. Imagine if we got a skeletal visage. I think it goes without saying, you probably don't want to listen to that for uh, the next 10 minutes. So regardless, there will be live commentary uh, in about six hours into this video. I want to see how you guys feel about this video. If it's something that you enjoy and you like watching and you like the concept of it, leave me a thumbs up on this video or leave me a comment down below. Indicate to me that this is something that you enjoy watching. In this version, I gave myself no limitations. I used whatever gear was available to me in the bank. And to start off, I decided I would do an hour of Vorkaf to see how much of a foundation I could build. As you can see from the value of the bank tab, we made 2.8 mil in our very first hour with no rare uniques whatsoever, just regular drops from Vorkaf, not even using the best in slot, which would be a Dragon Hunter crossbow and a skeletal visage. So yeah, a pretty decent start. After I was done with Vorkaf, I decided I would go and do an hour of Zora. I knew the money was going to be decent, and to be honest, I just wanted to get a comparison of which of the two was the better money maker. We ended with a 2.8 mil tab after one hour of Vorkaf, and after an hour of Zora, we had 4.7 mil. Meaning that we made less than 2 mil in one hour, and 1.9 mil, and that's not even taken into consideration the supplies that I used. I was pretty fucking shocked by how terrible Zora is nowadays. I, I honestly thought it was going to be better than that, but apparently not. Vorkaf is the new money dragon. So if you got Dragon Slayer 2, kill some Vorkaf. So two hours in, I decided I would sell the loot tab. As you can see, we made 4.9 mil. We invested in 1,500 black chin chompers, and I decided I would risk it all, stake away and gamble the foundation by using the armadillo, which is a big risk because the chances of getting drops are relatively slim, especially considering the time frame that I had. Now, I really wish the audio for this clip wasn't so Fucked, but oh my god, I freaked out big time. Armado chest plate. I actually said I was gonna get one before going in. That's the most expensive armor piece you can get. 41 mil, just shy of 42 mil when I got it. So we're already PKing with a decent amount of risk and just under the three hour mark. After the armadillo chest plate, I did manage to get a godsword shard, followed by a drop that I would rather not talk about. The grand total for that armadillo trip was just 50k shy of 46 mil. We're heading to the Dagonal Kings. As you can see, this is the gear we're taking. Uh, it's not what I'd like to take, but it's the best gear that I possibly have to take. A few things that I'd upgrade if I had the money to currently, I would take a rapier. And I'd also take the staff that you get from Fear of Blood. I don't even know what it's called. Is it like vampire staff or some shit? Who knows? That's the staff I would have taken. Yeah, this is the setup we're going to be rolling with. And on second thoughts, I'm going to bank this code. I feel like it's unnecessary and take an extra Sam for it. Drops at Dagonoffs are incredibly common. So expect to be seeing some bank loot relatively soon. And also rings and such are really expensive at the moment. More than likely due to the Hydra boss coming out. And in before we get ourselves a nice juicy ring. <laughs> I'm fucking trolling, dude. I took a dwarven rock cake instead of the pet rock. Oh my days. What is this? Really? Oh my god. How much is this? 100k. Alright, I ain't gonna complain. I'm not gonna kick up a stink about it. I mean, it's 100k. Kind of worthless, but hey. First rare unique of the trip. I will take it. What is that, dude? Oh, the first ring drop. 69kc for the Fucking warrior's ring. How much is this worth? Oh, it's 100k. Okay. Just why? Why can that have been a berserker ring? It's like 10 times. It's like 5 times the amount. No. It's like 50 times the amount. God, that sucks. No. No. Just fucking no. No, the Sears ring's worth a shit ton. How much is this? 600k. Hell yeah. And speaking of circles, I just fucking got one. Oh, ho, ho, baby, 5.5 mil, 200 KC on the dot. 
Well, that is what we came here for, fellas. Yes! Oh, my. Oh, hold up. Have we just got every single drop in one trip? What am I missing? Did I just get every single unique in one trip? Hold up. I think I did. Holy shit, I actually think I just got every single drop in one Dagonoff trip. I got all of the rings. The circle from the uh, Supreme. The mud battle staff from the Prime. We also got a dragon. Dude holy shit this has been a good one i actually just got every single unique from dagonoffs in 211 kc in fact 210 kc in one fucking trip i just got every single drop that this place has to offer so that's gonna conclude it as well i think i don't think i'm gonna get anything else or to be honest i probably would but fuck it i'm uh i'm happy with all of this loot that's insane one trip at dagonoff king 213 kills <laughs> that's amazing that is so good that is incredibly lucky let's get a price check about all of the uniques solid two mil i will happily take it and then with all of the uniques added on the archers and berserker ring 12.6 mil i'm a happy boy we got three hours left on the clock 57 almost 58 mil in platinum tokens very nice i'm gonna go ahead now and i think i'm gonna go do a sour doman trip just in case we can get ourselves a hilt or an acb we got just under three hours left on the clock feeling good about this i haven't done pvm like this in a while so i'm hoping because of that this boss right here might shit out something good for me maybe a hilt maybe an acb we'll see it might be a very dry hour or two but you never know we could get very lucky that was the last kill we've run out of staminas uh 179 kc once i've killed these minions we didn't manage to get any good loot but to be fair i have been really fucking lucky at like every single boss i've done so far we have just under an hour remaining so i'm gonna have to think of something that i want to do for the final hour i'm gonna do either lore calf or demonic gorillas I decided to go to Demonic Gorillas in the end just because I know the money here isn't half bad and there's also the chance you can get yourself a Zenai Shard which is only 1 in 300 so the likelihood of getting one is relatively good compared to other bosses that I only had an hour's worth of game time to kill and then this happens. Oh my god no. Heavy frame. We got eight minutes left. What is this? Oh, that's so unlucky. I think this is like one in 2000. The Zenite is one in 300. How much is this worth? I'm guessing like inactive. It's, it's high out price. Yeah, I just got fucking shafted. Fortunately, that is the last kill we're going to be able to get within the timer. The countdown has been finished. Not too bad. Let's take a look at how much we made. Here's all the loot I managed to get in one hour of gorillas, plus a few extra things that I just missed out from Sarah Doman, etc. 1.4 mil. Not too bad. I'm going to sell this off and we're going to see how much we've made. Righty, so the moment of truth. We're going to turn our platinum tokens into raw cash so we can take a look at how much we've made. Holy... So, oh shit, rip. We have made just under 60 mil. 64k away from making 60 mil in 10 hours. That is good. That is really good. That gives me a lot of money to be able to work with. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to buy myself some gear that we can go PK with. I really fancy doing a bit of Mage Bank PK just because it reminds me of my olden days when I used to PK. And you do occasionally find some feasts up there along with some teams. But with this amount of cash... We're looking at at least a decent-ish max set. Here is the setup we're going to be going with. I have at last minute decided that I'm actually going to change up the gear slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy my Serpentine Helmet. Just because I feel like I'm more than likely going to get hit by a clan. And this is going to help out a hell of a lot. It's got the same strength bonuses as the Helm of Noits. Except it also has crazy good defense bonuses. which It has crazy good defense bonuses. So... Oh my god, man. I'm back. I'm about to lose my shit. It has crazy good defense bonuses. So, I'm going to take the Serpentine Helm. Fuck this phone, dude. Over the Noit's Helm. So, I will buy Infinity Boots and, and take the Serp Helm instead. This right here is the gear that I've decided to go with. I'm pretty happy with it. If I take the Serp Helm off, I get 140 Mage Plus, which is pretty sweet. We have a decent-ish melee setup, I suppose. We do have the AGS for skill potential. And, of course, we have this for our range setup. The DFS is going to come in really handy. And as you can see, our defense bonuses are pretty good in this gear. And there you have it, boys. That is end of part one. Ten hours of making money. 
to go PKing. We finished with just under 60 mil in total made in those 10 hours, meaning that we have 60 mil to PK with. Part two will be released in the next couple of days. If you guys have enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to part two and just overall you enjoy the concept of this, make sure you guys leave the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you very soon.